Hey, Trey, wanted to get your thoughts on just your, your first experience with the team learning the playbook. Um, how much discussions have you had about your role in the defense already? I know that they have, they, they, they can use you probably in your, in, either as a safety or a corner with the team. Uh, just first and foremost, I'm just, I'm just glad to be around the guys, glad to be in the facility and, and happy to be back on the field. I mean, glad to be back playing football. It's been a while. So just being able to get out there on the field, just move around a little bit. Um, that was the first thing that I was excited about. And uh, for me, um, just a guy that can I mean, play any position on the back end, just well, wherever the coaches need me um, back there on that back end, whether it's corner, nickel, safety, um, uh, whatever they need me to do, uh, I'm all for it I mean, to help the team. To help to help the team uh, get to ultimate goal to help the team to, uh, be better. Noah Strack team. Hey Trey, I don't know if you've talked to Cam Sutton yet or have watched any of his videos, but he he's are his highlights. But he's pretty much what you're here to do now as a Swiss Army knife. Have you talked to him? Have you watched any of his film? What are your thoughts on him? Um, actually, uh, Cam and I we train at the same spot um, out there in Tampa, so I, I kind of knew of him before I had got here. And uh, he, he actually reached out to me um, after the draft, as soon as, soon as it had ended. I mean, kind of extended his extended his arms um, as a as a big brother, as a guy that's been here. So definitely can't wait to uh, sit down and pick his brain and kind of just get get to know more about this defense and so so I can know it, um, know the ins and outs. And I just continue to learn and get better. Brian Beck, though. Hey, Trey, uh, I wanted to ask you about Najee Harris. You know, obviously you guys are all coming in as rookies draft picks on the same you know, level here, but with him being the first rounder, uh, is he taking on any sort of leadership role with you guys, or, or do you even kind of see some of those qualities in him uh, to this point? Um, it's, we, uh, you know, this walkthrough this morning was kind of, uh, I don't want to say short, but I wasn't around him as much, but I can definitely see those qualities in, in him just um, from, just seeing him, seeing him, uh, his, his career at, at Alabama, you know, actually getting to play against him in my our sophomore year, um, that's something that, that I wouldn't be surprised um, if, if he does take on that leadership role. I could definitely see those qualities in him. Tim Benz. We have all those uh, different positions that you are being asked potentially to perform with the Steelers. What did you play the most in college and what are you the most familiar or uh, comfortable doing? The most I played in college, um, my, my first two years was corner, but then uh, this last season I was honestly a, a great amount at nickel and safety. I would go back and forth between the both of them. And so for me, the, the comfort level is um, honestly at, at, at any one of them um, because I feel like I've gotten um, a lot of reps at each of those positions. So uh, wherever the coaches uh, see fit for me, wherever I, I help the team out best, that, that's the position I'm most comfortable with. Joe Runner. There we go. Hey, Trey. Uh, have, have they talked to you at all about focusing on just one position here, or do they want you to learn a little bit of everything? Um, as of right now, um, it's kind of learn, learn a little bit of, of, of everything. So just moving forward, um, if, that's, if that's what my role would be, I'm – Glad, glad to take on that role because that's something that I did in college as well, something that I'm familiar with. Um, so right now, just kind of learning everything, um, but, but making sure I'm getting all of them down to, to where I, I can play at a high level and play fast on the field. Christopher, did you have a follow-up? Uh, I guess that was me. Um, uh, just a small one, Trey. Um, wanted to ask, you know, one thing you, you were big at, at making plays on the ball in college. Uh, and that's something that, you know, Mike Tomlin has said for years, he wants guys who make splash plays. What kind of conversations have you had with him and other guys about, you know, the, the, this team, they, they, they make a lot of, they create a lot of turnovers in the, uh, in the past few years. Um, for, um, I haven't really had much talks about it yet, but as a player, that's something that I pride myself on. And that's something that, um, was was a strong point for us with Coach Grinch um, back, back in school. So I feel like that's something that I'm definitely carrying over. Um, turnovers is – the turnover margin is honestly a, a key part to winning the game. So being able to go out there and make those plays on the ball, whether it's interception, um, uh, forced fumble, any one of those type of things, uh, th those are huge. And that's something that I see myself as a guy that, that can go out there and, uh, and be a playmaker when the ball's in the air.
Brian Backo, did you have a follow-up? Yeah, just uh, Trey, I was going to ask you why number 21 and were you tempted at all to go with uh, one of those lower numbers, maybe even a single digit now that the, the NFL is allowing that? Um, just from the, op the options that, that, that were presented to me for like 21 uh, was the best, um, something new. I'm excited to, to, to accept a, you know, the journey and a new number. So it doesn't have, um, I mean, quite the significance that, that you know, my college number or high school number yet had, but it, it'll definitely have a significance um, here in the near future. All right. And then Joe Rudder, do you have a follow up? That would be the last one. All right, we're good. Thanks, everybody. Thank we'll have Presley here in a few minutes.